What's up, YouTube? This is Slidey Eight Fry here. So, yeah, I have quite a bit going on. I was busy working today, and I'm just dealing with some frustrations during the day. So I hadn't actually gotten around to recording the new reaction video I intended to do today to something that just came out. And if you have been following my channel for quite some time, I think you know exactly what I'm referring to. Anyways, I'm also going to bring up that... I completed um, my review of recording everything I needed to record for my review of Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Dead Pearl. Uh, the Curse of the Black Pearl. God, I'm fucking exhausted, I guess. But anyways, yeah. I haven't gotten around to the editing of it yet, but I'm going to. I'll try to do it as soon as I can. It's just... I had so much more to say about this movie than I did about the Sonic movie last year. So the total length of my recordings is over an hour and 28 minutes. I'm sure taking out the parts where I fumble lines or get interrupted from, by my wife or phone calls or whatever the case may be will bring it down a lot, maybe to like an hour. Um, and who knows, maybe I could bring it down a lot more than that so that... Uh, you know, people won't feel like it's a slog to watch the whole thing. Or maybe people will enjoy watching the whole thing and hearing everything I gotta say. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, new uh, new AVGN just came out. It's been months. Uh, and as for the subscribers who have been subbing to my channel over the past few months because of my Johnny Depp shorts, there are more coming. In fact, there was a recent one I uploaded of when he showed up at the VMAs as the MTV Moon Man. I, up, I upload a short of that. Check that out. Anyways, um, and also stay tuned for my review of his first Pirates of the Caribbean film and some more upcoming reviews. For now, let's do a reaction to the newest Angry Video Game, to the newest AVGN episode, uh, Hudson Hawk on the NES. It's a random game I've never heard of, but let's give it a shot. Let's do this, let's do this, oh yeah! Damn, that's loud, I probably should turn it down so I can still hear myself talk over it, what do you think? I don't know, let me know in the comments later. Thanks for watching this episode of Angry Video Game Nerd, but before we get into it, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. It's always ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a virtual it's, it's a private net. Recently, a new predator... It's always ExpressVPN or, um... <laughs> Oh god, it's always ExpressVPN or um, Raycon. It's always one of those two. The movie came out, so I wanted to watch some of the old ones, but it wasn't streaming in the US. So thankfully, I had ExpressVPN. I was able to switch my online location to Australia, and bam, the movie showed up instantly, all in That's glorious cool. high definition, without any buffering. Find ExpressVPN.com slash Cinemassacre, or by clicking the link in the description below. I'll just, I'm just going to point out that I've been able to watch the Predator, uh, at least the first Predator film on Hulu, which doesn't require me getting an, uh, a VPN. I've also watched, um, well, I haven't watched, but I'm. Uh, they've been advertising, like they've been putting Prey on the front page of Hulu ever since it came out. So, once again, i got to contradict the VPN. If you have the necessary streaming sites, you don't have to worry about it. When it comes to movie-based games, you'd think I covered them all by now. But here's another one, based on all the right. Bruce Willis film, Hudson Hawk, on Nintendo. What's Nintendo? The film is a mix of action and slapstick comedy. Bruce plays Eddie Hawkins, who's just been released from prison after serving his time for committing robberies. He's supposed to be the most skilled burglar in the world. Yeah, so skilled he gets caught. Anyway, all he wants is a <laughs> cappuccino, but he gets forced into doing another big heist when he's blackmailed by members of a mafia crime family known as the Mario Brothers. Wow, the you Mario gotta Brothers. Be me. And I'm sure it's a conscious reference because they mention Nintendo multiple times. Play Nintendo, bone some chips. <laughs> wow, play some Nintendo, bone some chicks. 
I'm surprised they were able to say that while having an official tie-in with an NES game. <laughs> Will you play Nintendo with me? <laughs> wow, that should have yes. been the commercial. Bruce Willis saying, would you play Nintendo with me? Yeah. Boom, sold. But the marketing strategy on this game was so poor that as a kid, I never even heard of this game. But it definitely would have gotten my attention, especially if they just ran an ad that said, play some Nintendo, bone some chicks. <laughs> How's that for a slogan? That would have sold some copies. <laughs> Better than play it loud and all that shit. You know, they should have done that since the early days of gaming. You know, for Atari, instead of this. Have you played Atari today? They should have sang this. Have you got it played today? That is so Big improvement. stupid. <laughs> okay. It could still be taken as an insult, though. It could be like, oh, you're playing Atari? You must have never gotten laid. That's why we're asking. <laughs> I might have gotten off topic there. So in the film, yeah, the did. bad guys force Bruce to steal the works of Leonardo da Vinci. Not because they want them, but because they contain secrets. It's like the da Vinci code, but That's shitty. The Aww. secrets are that da Vinci hid crystals in them. Crystals needed to power a machine that turns lead into gold. The criminal's master oh, plan is to nice. flood the market with gold so that it'll crash the world's economy. Do you even care at this point? I'm yours! All you Why do that to crash the world's economy? Just do that to give yourself more gold. Jeez, that's ridiculous. You need to know is it's a movie it has bruce willis huh? he's screaming his head off he's doing that stupid laugh he does oh yeah I've... <laughs> you gotta love him he's as sarcastic as ever like john mcclain exaggerated as a cartoon you <laughs> want die hard with the comedy ramped up that's what this is oh, how am i driving one eight hundred i'm gonna fucking die actually <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't have any clue what's going on. Anna Baragli came to me. Oh my God. <laughs> the slapstick humor is so dumb and so unfunny, it becomes funny again. Oh, Just no. as an example, <laughs> there's a running gag where he keeps trying to drink a cappuccino and something always happens. That's funny, actually. <laughs> so the film's a mixed bag, but let's see what kind of bag the game is. First, uh -oh. I need a beer. Well, the first thing to mention is the cover art. The PAL version has Bruce Willis's face, but the North American version does not. Weird. So what gives? Did Bruce Willis have a problem with one part of the world using his likeness? Did he find out how bad the game sucks and had the art pulled? <laughs> yeah. That's a copy of Hudson Hawk on the NES. Is this funny? You think this is some kind of fucking joke, huh? <laughs> but check out his awesome. in-game character. Wow. Flat top, super suntanned, not even close to Bruce Willis. No. Seems the movie made more references to Nintendo than Nintendo actually made references to the movie. No the first kidding. stage, you're trying to rob an auction house, which actually does follow the film. Although your main weapon is throwing baseballs that fly in an arc over everything. Okay, oh, in the gosh, movie, really? he does throw a baseball. In like one scene, but it's to break a window in order to use a grappling hook. So, instead of the grappling hook, we get the fucking baseball? You have to use the baseball to distract dogs. There's tons of dogs always ready to drag your ass off a building. Are there dogs in the movie? Well, yes. But I kind of have the feeling it's a coincidence. Could they be referring to the one that tries to eat his crotch? Or that really weird scene where he launches the dog out the window? Anyway, it's only a minute and a half into the game when the true fuckery begins. There's a window you need to reach, but you can only get up there by stacking two crates. So you take one of the crates okay. up this little elevator, you push it on top, the other crate... Ugh, that's sloppy. Let me straighten it out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oops. Now I gotta hop up there again, bring the elevator back down, take the crate back up, push it right on top, <sighs> Push it back to the elevator. Bring the elevator down. Oh, oh. Motherfucker! Push it out of the way. Bring the elevator down. Take the crate up. <laughs> okay, got him stacked. Now all I gotta do is jump. Fuck! Oh, what happened? Do it all over again. And finally, I made it! Okay. Whew, boy. Wow. I need a beer after that. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just like in the movie. He can't get a he can't have a beer like Bruce Willis can't have a coffee. Next, or you're in a hallway Miami. guarded by what looks like security cameras, except they shoot lasers. Jeez, that's, that's some fun. intense level of security. <laughs> Not only are the trespassers caught on video, but they're immediately incinerated. Wonder that's if your home what? security package offers that. Fucking Fry people cameras. to a fucking crisp. <laughs> this level's so unforgiving that if you fall down a hole, it sends you back to the beginning. You know Jeez. how much I love that shit. Oh, yeah. Do. <laughs> the game's so bad, they give you an option to quit. Oh, and anytime you want to see your health status, which are Zelda hearts, you have to pause the game. That's stupid. What the shit? That, that would be stupid. like driving a car, and anytime you want to see how much gas you have, you have to pull over and turn off the engine. <laughs> Another crate. I'm just gonna push it over here. Whoa, did you see what happened? The crate just said, um, no. It doesn't even feel like playing a game. It feels like you're just pushing buttons and hoping something happens. You have to trick it into being functional. The next section sends you down a bunch of slides. Wow. This is where the torture really begins. You're hey, sliding Sonic. down, down into hell. Hey, Sonic. It was like when he slides down those waterfalls in Labyrinth Zone. You're going through a maze of ductwork, avoiding steam and electrical charges. Just try not to die. Just try. Ooh. On top of the death traps, you have to navigate in a certain order, flipping switches to turn off fans that block your way. Okay. Not to mention, it was released by Sony ImageSoft, the publishers of Dragon's Lair on NES. So it makes perfect sense that everything should be weird and cryptic. Yeah. Hey, look at this part here. You have to make it all the way around a loop just to get up here so you can hit a switch. But you have to hit that switch on your way down or else you need to do the loop all over again. Jeez. Plus, it's timed, so you have to run past the fan real fast. But if you run real fast, you get killed by the steam. Fuck! Yikes. Just two more minutes. I was so close. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> ah! Oh, you're... I mean, he clearly saw the fan spinning there. Why'd he try to get across there? Mother. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, fuck! There? Oh, this is how I go out. Like a hunk of frozen Play-Doh. <laughs> like a, like a... <laughs> Finally, I made it to the next part. Just gonna hop off this crate, grab the wire. What the... You're back down here Fuck! again. Fuck! Back to the beginning! Ah! <laughs> Finally, I reach the end of stage one. And may I emphasize, stage one. Mm -hmm. I steal the first item, Da Vinci's horse sculpture, the Sforza, which in real life was never completed. Only a clay model was made, which was destroyed. Mm. If only the same could have happened to this game. <laughs> Oh, what's gonna happen this time? <laughs> shit pickle. Really? Why would you do that, shit pickle? You know, since you're here, I've been meaning to ask you this for the longest time, but how'd this shit get on your head? Were you shat on? Were you up somebody's butt? Were you dipped in shit that's already been shat? Or have you always existed that way? And there's no fecal origin. <laughs> shit! Pickle, 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 shit, 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 pickle, 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 shit, pickle, shit, pickle, 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 shit, 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 pickle, Shit pickle. Wow. Not what I expected <laughs> at all, but thanks for sharing that. Yes. Well, there you have it. <laughs> In stage two, your mission is to rob the Vatican. Honestly, it's nice to see Shit Pickle back. He doesn't make that many appearances. Robbing a freaking Vatican. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that underneath the Vatican, there's a network of sewers with floating brown orbs, steam traps, and spears <laughs> that go up your ass. These sewers are patrolled by nuns that don't fuck around. Oh They're pushing God. around these old-time cannons that will blast you to oblivion. 
So they have cannons, but all I get is a baseball? Yeah, That's real fair. How about a gun? Oh, wait. I can punch? All this time I could punch? Tapping B throws the baseball, but if you hold B, it punches. Well, I suppose there's lots of ways that could have been programmed. You could hit select to switch back and forth, or hold up while hitting B to throw the ball. But damn, holding B would have never been my first instinct to jab an enemy. Not to mention, we're yeah. punching nuns in the fucking face. <laughs> Next, we're on top of the Vatican, which actually happens in the movie. Okay. Now, if only they included the part where the TV antenna gets damaged while the Pope is trying to watch Mr. Ed. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Ed. Now that's a fucking trip. And now the nuns are dropping the bombs from parachutes. Man, these nuns are out of control. Oh my God. And just in case you make it inside the Vatican, they're ready for you because the floor is equipped with electrical traps. Oh Man, my. there's a lot of electricity in this game. In the movie, yeah. I can only think of one instance where he gets zapped. Ah! The fuck is the matter with you? By the end of the stage, it does follow the movie closely, where he steals what they call Da Vinci's sketchbook, the Codex. Okay. And if you really care, it's not based on any specific manuscript of Da Vinci's, even though they include an image of the Vitruvian Man. Hmm. It's just mashed together, made up movie shit. Of the third stage, they don't even bother, because in the movie, it's what they call Da Vinci's helicopter, based hmm. on his conceptual design of the aerial screw. But yeah. the game just says fuck it and makes it the mirrored crystal. But the movie ends with them Fuck. sailing on an ancient flying machine, I guess built by Da Vinci, but it comes out of nowhere. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't have a flying stage in the game. Instead, you're hopping around on disappearing platforms. Honestly, I can't or tell if it's a glitch or not. Platforms. Next thing, you're trying to climb across a rope, but there's a sloth in the way. At least I think it's a sloth. <laughs> it's anybody's guess what that thing is supposed to be. Are there any sloths in the movie? I don't think so, but I wish there was, because wouldn't that be great to see Bruce Willis yelling at a sloth? <laughs> For the more Jumbo, kick your big flabby ass. But in case you can't tell already, we are heading deep into the territory of remember that from the movie? Oh, because there's no. guys throwing guitars and TVs, guys hanging from balloons, tennis players on the roof. Why are they playing tennis on the roof? I, and what, I don't know. there's kangaroos now? And giant mice? How did this amalgamation of characters come to be? No did they just idea. grab a bunch of athletes, circus performers, zoo animals, and lab experiments? <laughs> Every enemy on this stage could have come from a different game. Up to yeah. this point, it sort of followed the movie, but now they just gave up. In I fact, so. level three is the last stage. No way! <laughs> wow. Only three levels. Yeah. Even Karate Kid had four. Did they run out of ideas? Did the deadline approach and they had to just shit it out? Or could it be that three levels is all the movie had to offer? Hmm. Well, that's one way to do it. If it gets to the point where you're adding kangaroos and shit, you might as well just end it there. Yeah. Even if it was a really good movie like The Breakfast Club, how would that work as a game? I don't Level know. one, you're sitting in detention. <laughs> Level two, you're sitting in detention. <laughs> Level three, you're sneaking around the school. Write the letter, the end. Uh, so maybe you can say that what they've done with Hudson Hawk is commendable. They didn't stretch it out into 10 levels and fill it with all kinds of bullshit. No, this is a three level movie, so it's going to be a three level game. Done. Ingenious. Okay. <laughs> the final boss, if you'd call it a boss, is the crystal powered gold making machine from the film. It's that certain type of boss that doesn't really fight back. You might as well be fighting a washing machine. All you do is go around the room hit all the switches, then grab the crystal, and it's over. Okay. Congratulations, Hawk. The gold machine has been totally destroyed together right. with the alchemy project. You may have saved the economic fate of the whole world. Hmm. Wow. You may have saved it. Yeah. It's not 100% confirmed, but we think <laughs> you've won. Imagine if you beat Contra and it said, Congratulations, you've possibly destroyed the vile Red Falcon and maybe saved the universe. You can consider yourself a hero, though it's debatable. <laughs> well, <clears throat> this is the part of the episode where I give a final judgment on this game. I go off on a big epic rant and yeah. tell you all the things I'd rather do and all the different types of species that come out of different animal anuses. <laughs> but instead, I'm going to look on the positive side. Yeah, just for once, because... There has to be something good about this game. 
Right. Well, uh, it functions. Okay. It didn't freeze. Okay. It follows the movie somewhat. Okay. Uh, it only has three levels. Um, <laughs> it has a pause button. It doesn't have high-pitched shrieking music that makes you want to rip your brain through your ears. It's not The Last Ninja. It's not made by LJN. It may be shit, but it's not actual shit. I think that's a good thing. You can't <laughs> die from it. Probably not. It doesn't give off any odors. It tastes like nothing compared to the liquid ass of a gasoline-guzzling gorilla, nor is it as <laughs> repulsive as a hagfish, which can produce gallons of snot on cue to choke its predators. It doesn't completely suck so bad that it'll make you rip your balls off and shove them in your eye sockets. It's not the goddamn motherfucking apocalypse. It's just a game. Okay. But the best thing about this game is that it's easily destructible. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> well, the movie has a happy ending. Eddie Hawkins finally gets to have his cappuccino. Looks like they could have used that shot in a Folgers commercial. Yeah, they could have. Hard waking up, these Folgers in your cup. Yeah, they could have, yeah. As for me, I'm finally gonna have my beer. Cheers. Best part of waking up is getting all fucked up. <laughs> oh, Rocky climbed a mountain. I've seen that video. It was really fascinating. I do recommend checking that out. Okay. Well, that was a great way of subverting expectations by saying what the game is not and still talking shit about it fucking awesome all right <laughs> anyways that was a that was a really good episode i really enjoyed it a lot um i'll bet i have i didn't get as many laughs this time but it was straight to the point and um yeah it was it was really great and i got to plug in my computer holy shit okay that before the battery starts to get really low definitely drains the battery faster to do these recordings anyways yeah it was really fantastic i really enjoyed it uh sorry i waited until tonight to record it like i said i was working a lot and kind of going through some shit which i'm not gonna get into but um I do appreciate you watching. I plan on posting more image polls soon, because I know I've because no, I know it. It's good to actually post in the community tab, even though you don't financially benefit or anything. But it keeps people uh, knowing that you exist, I guess. Um. Anyways. So, um, what do you think about this new episode of ABGN? I really highly enjoyed it. It's not the best episode. I wouldn't even put it like in top tier. But I, I liked how he subverted expectations. Instead of saying what he'd rather do, like he does in so many other episodes of AVGN, he instead um, decided to, oh yeah, I, I gotta uh, do the, uh, well, no, what, what do you say? He instead decided to say what the game is not and still at the same time talk shit about the game by explaining what it isn't. That was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Um, so that was a big surprise. And I thought that was cool that he actually edited in clips from the movie to go with what he was saying. That was really well done. That was really great. It was kind of like how way back in 2006 when he was the angry Nintendo nerd, when he did that, when he was reviewing the Back to the Future NES games for the first time. Uh, it was just like that. Um, when he included clips from the movie. So... Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I, it's, it's always cool to include additional clips for something, uh, whether it's uh, based off of a movie or something else. Um, honestly, there's not too much to say about this. Please check out my playlist of AVGN React videos. I have quite a number of them. Um, I, started react I started doing reaction videos in 2020, so I have reaction videos to AVGN from 2020 to now. Um, I haven't reacted to everything. There were a couple videos from 2020 I 
one of them I recorded a reaction to, but I was trying to edit a bunch of stuff together to make it better, and it just was too time-consuming, so I'd never upload it, and I, sorry, I deleted the files. I, want, I needed to free up space on the computer. There was another one I didn't even bother recording a reaction to because I just didn't have time. Um, but uh, aside from that, yeah, I've been reacting to all of his videos since 2020, just not those two. Uh, all of his, all of the AVGN videos, not every Cinemassacre video, that'd be crazy. Um, but, yeah, continuing on from there, what was I going to say? Uh, I mean, nowadays when I do reaction videos, and I've been doing this pretty much since 2021, maybe even late 2020, f forget about editing, just record, upload, done. Saves me a lot of time, might as well do that. Uh, I could do editing on bigger projects like my upcoming review of Pirates of the Caribbean and my furthermore upcoming reviews of Johnny Depp films, as well as I'm still planning on doing a review of the Sonic 2 movie, so look forward to that as well. Um, Alright, so another great episode by ABGN. Not, I wouldn't put it among my favorites, but it was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell icon to add me, notif to add me notifications. One other thing, you can join as a member if you want to help me out a little bit more. Um, basic membership, 99 cents a month. Yeah, pretty much a dollar a month. And uh, you will get custom emojis you can use in the comment section of my videos and during streams. And you'll get exclusive videos only available to members, even at that basic membership. The higher tier ones will help you have access to other things. Uh, maybe even more exclusive videos and some early access to stuff. Um, as well as a higher effort to um, give shoutouts compared to the lower end. But um, yeah, there's five different tiers of membership. Check them out. See if you're interested. Um, but uh, even without it, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. Abby notifications. I don't always get to upload when I, whenever I. Um, I'm busy with work a lot, so I don't always get to upload. But I try to as much as I can. And uh, I'm still going to upload a bunch of shorts, mostly Johnny Depp stuff, maybe some other stuff as well. And. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for my upcoming review of Pirates of the Caribbean. All right, thank you so much. And uh, once again, I really enjoyed watching this, episode, this new episode of Angry Video Game Nerd.